Welcome to the part of American Wasteland. This time we clean the entire ranch. We're gonna get all of these little side missions done and we're getting all the gaps here in the ranch. So let us go. Here's what's left of that Ferris wheel you and Alba destroyed. Score big down the pier panels. Now a good amount of these little goals here will give us gaps more like the record code top jump there. So, you know, do these and you'll get the gaps. It also means it's actually saying if you want to complete the thing. It's just a text there, it's always the same text and that's it. Oh, and hey, now it's time for this dino head. Remember this, T-Rex? Land a big combo on it in memory of that poor protester. Just in case you forgot about the fact you killed somebody, she wanted to remind you right there. And that transfer there gives you a gap as well. Okay, next up we got some, uh, some more stuff here, like for instance, this bit. This tower is exactly what I envisioned. See if you can nail a huge combo on those pipes. Sure thing. So here's the thing. Right now, all these scores are really easy, especially for sick. Um, but later on, we'll be starting to get some pretty big scores. Not massively big. Not, lot, not like one million points big. But fairly big. Almost not a gap right there for that grind. Okay, now it's time for these ropes. <laughs> ben Hooflex Premier was a bust. Land a big combo on the velvet ropes. Sure thing. A thousand points, easy as. And by the way, I just want to say this right now. A good amount of these new spots we have of the ranch, these pieces we've gotten, they kind of suck in how they're implemented in this entire fucking area. They're kind of just shit. I knew we'd have our very own star on the Walk of Fame. Hit him in one combo, and you'll be styling. Now, I fought with this one. Just manual across these. I mean, that's a thing I wanted to do, but didn't work out. In fact, what they want you to do is actually grind these. But, um, yeah, I was really hoping it would give me it for manual and all three of these pieces. It didn't. There's not even a gap for it. There is a gap, however, for grinding across these, so, I mean, that's a thing. But other than that, yeah, just... Just grind, and that's it. Okay. So, yeah, some of these pieces legitimately just suck. That one there, eh, it was okay. But the uh, pipe one that we had to do fucking sucked. Also, Mindy's here as well, even though she's also around the place. It's kind of weird. Most of the shitty ones are over in this area. Murphy hooked us up with this sweet limo. Do a combo challenge on the Bail Bonds limo. So, Murphy dumped a limo here and kind of like embedded into the fucking stone. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure that's the limo we used to get the sign. Um, okay. Boone has been crashing on this couch since you saved him. Do a combo over it. Sure thing. That's not even that big a point. And it has, doesn't have to be either because that is very small piece, like a nothing piece really, except you can't just jump over it, you have to actually touch the thing, so Mindy light there. However, there are some pieces here that make no sense, and are just kind of there, um, for instance. Those car parts you got make up this grind rail. Get a big combo on this thing. There's a kicker next to this. I don't know where that kicker, like, is supposed to come from, but, um, apparently it's parts of the car piece, I guess. Sure. There's also this. Iggy will be stoked that you got him a tool shed. Get a big score on it. How the fuck did they embed that into the stone? In fact, how in the absolute fuck is that the tool shed? I mean, I can kind of see it, but it looks like it's just... I don't know what they did with that, but uh, Jesus fucking Christ, guys. And all that is is a kicker. And not only that, but there's this. This sign was getting in the way in East LA. See if it skates any better here. Skate it and land a big combo. And this is where the big problems come in. Because they want you to get some pretty big scores. Like right here of the sign, over 25,000 points. Um, the issue is that these are so small pieces of nothing really going on for them, you are mainly going to get your points out of just manualist and flatland. Also do a wall right for that gap. So next up. 
That's a control panel from the oil rig. Can you skate it for a big score? And now it's time for this fucking thing. So yeah, the oil rig control panel there is just a kicker. But the game also decided to add this spinner next to it that's also part of the control panel. I... How? How the fuck? Why is that there? How does that even work? What the fuck? It spins you around and makes the camera get all weird and shit. Um, if you are moving when you jump off it, in fact, you will get a gap out of it. That kicker doesn't give you anything. But, sorry, but seriously, I don't know where the fuck that comes from, but yeah, it's the control box spinner, I guess. Sure, game, sure, that's a thing. Also, there's a whole bunch of other shit going on, but first of all, we need to take care of this bit right here. Look at what we did with the broken floor from Beverly Hills. I dare you to score a fat combo up there. So yeah, now we got this grind spot up here that exists. It's not great, and also I got unlucky there and bailed because you know flip tricks are just a bit shitty here. But um, yeah, I do manage to get across, and I do a nice little bank drop inward, and I get nothing else out of it. But if you jump across the star, you get the city whole star jump. Okay, so after that, we're gonna go ahead and take care of the next one, which is this entire bit of cement. I'm guessing. We borrowed 200 bags of concrete for this piece. Get a big combo on it. I don't know when you got 200 bags of fucking concrete. Um, also, this wall here sucks. You think that because it's a wall, you can, you know, wall plant on it and shit. No, it doesn't have any collision as a wall. It's just a fucking thing, and it's weird, and I... It just sucks. You can't do anything with that, honestly. It's just gonna get in your way and bail you. And it will, because it sucks. Anyway, there's also this one right over here. Check out this huge roll-in. Try to get a giant combo. We can use this roll-in to not only get our combo, but also get a gap out of it by jumping across here, over that, and that's dropping down for destroyed. And, uh, yeah, there you go. I couldn't rate that, because, yeah, a lot of these gaps are going to go away real quickly. They needed a place to dump these building chunks? We told them, dump it at the ranch. I don't even know if it's skatable. Let's see if you can rock a huge combo. Outside of, like, maybe two grinds around here and that kicker, maybe the other kicker over there, this is such a fucking mess of a spot that it's just shit. It's just legitimately just shit. Anyway, here's this bit. The green dome kicks you up real high. That's why Boone wanted to pull it off. Use it in a monster combo. Yeah, it's the one that people had a struggle with actually getting. Uh, it doesn't give you that much height. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's a thing. It's just right there in the park. Sure. There's also the staircase here now, so I might as well see what this bit's this one. Thanks to Joey B, we actually pulled the entire stair set back to the ranch. You'll be the first to skate it. Get a giant combo. Now, the gap for this one is to jump across the entire staircase in one jump. Um, you know, my speed at the start is kind of shit, though, so that's not going to happen. But whatever. I will get it eventually, because we'll be getting all the gaps in the ranch. We'll be getting that out of the way in this part as well. So next up, Mindy, what about this sign here? That accident you caused down on the freeway was pretty bad, but you got a nice piece for the ranch. Use the freeway sign to score a giant combo. You're destroying a whole lot of public property, and you're probably killing a lot of people like you did for that one woman that you killed that dino head. But we're getting peace for the ranch, so you're cool about it, right? You're, you're cool about it all. You know, just fuck them. Fuck those people. Anyway. Um, we got that out of the way, and we got a Ventura bank drop thing out of it, so, you know, that's a nice little gap. And then we got this bit. This bell chimes when you skate through it. Skate the railing, and land a wicked combo. Positioning for this one is just dumb, because you're probably thinking about, you know, grinding that top spot right there, considering where you start off, or just going for any other spot other than the spot it wants you to go for, which is the fucking bell tower there, which it didn't really show you that much of. Seriously, like, you could have just positioned me right behind Mindy instead, and I would have been able to figure this shit out real quickly, 
But no, you position me right here by the fucking Chinese spot. Like, what the fuck? And yeah, grind it correctly, make the big jump from Mexico Bell as well as a nice little camera cutscene thing. And uh, yeah, there you go. After that, we get ourselves another, quite honestly, just kind of pointless piece. If you're feeling lucky, get up there and skate the triple seven. Grind around the gold ring and land a sweet combo. I mean, it looks kind of neat. I don't know how the fuck they got this from you know, just fucking with it and shit, but hey, it did it. It's a huge combo, by the way, at least for these pieces. And yes, run around till you get the triple seven there, triple seven gold ring. Pretty easy gap, honestly. But the main thing is that you're noticing that the scores are really starting to ramp up now, and they're really starting to bring out those, you know, six-digit numbers now, so yeah. Mega charged it up with electricity. I don't even know if it's skatable anymore. Try a combo focus test for me, please. How the fuck did we get this thing? I don't remember even getting this thing at all in the game. And how the fuck did Mega, like, put electricity into this, too? Jesus Christ, it's a never soft eye on everything, my god. It's insane. It's kinda cool, though, but it's fucking insane. Anyway, uh, there's a spot there that looks like it's being not as spinnable, but I'm not quite getting it to work for me, I don't know why. Um, don't worry about taking care of that later on. And as for these green rails here, uh, those will become important later on as well, but right now we got this thing. Helping that worker got us a nice chunk of the city. Score big on this piece and the others in this area for secrets. I know what you mean by that, considering doing all of these will give us unlockables, but I, it's just... <laughs> It's, not, it's just kind of a dumb sentence to say, really. And afterwards, we got this. This fire escape sure isn't gonna make skating the ranch any safer. Do a big combo on this gnarly thing. You'd think this would be a pretty neat little piece since we had to do like thriller tricks for it, but um, no, it's one of the shittiest pieces in the game. It doesn't work right. It's actually kind of glitchy in its implementation. And even though there's a gap involved with it, it's just an out-of-the-way gap that's not even enjoyable to get. It's just a really shit piece that you are pretty much never going to use. And there are quite a number of pieces in this entire ranch that you are never really going to use because they are just legitimately shit. It's just dumb. It's really, really fucking dumb. Anyway, around here, there's another piece we got to deal with with Mindy. We couldn't call it a skate ranch without a big Chinese tower. Do a gigantic combo on that big log up there. Mindy, why... Why do we need a big Chinese tower to make it a skate ranch? How does that make any sense? Why is this game being so low-key racist? Chinaman Tower. There's a gap called Chinaman Tower. My fucking god. What is up with American Wasteland and the just hardcore shitting on China and the racism going on with it, like, throughout the game for the most part? Also, manual across all that carpet into the elevator for Casino Elevator. It's a neat little gap, I guess. Um, afterwards, we then just have Mindy here wanting us to use this shitty piece. We made a large vert wall out of that Santa Monica rooftop. There are many ways to skate this thing. See if you can score big. There are only two ways. Grind in the spots that just end up getting you stuck backwards, or spot transferring over it. There's nothing else to work with it. It's just really shitty. Afterwards... Remember that sign you got from the Santa Monica Pier? You should be able to grind across and easily score some points. This one's a better piece. Not by much, though. Use the picker and grind across with the pier sign, and uh, there you go. Easy. Some of these, well, most of these are going to be easy. Uh, for the most part, though, it's going to involve you later on having to rely on Flatland, because otherwise you are never going to get enough to actually take care of this shit. It's just too shitty to work with. The modified telescope balloon launcher is up there. Grind across that tower and pull in a big combo. And she means it about grinding it, because there's a gap for airing over it. See? Periscope jump. But if you just air over it, it doesn't count. You have to grind it. 
Unless you do what I ended up doing, which is you do the jump over, get the gap, and then you just get on top of it, and that's it. I... That's a thing. It happened. You just saw it. There you go. Next. We dropped the oil rig floor right here. Use it for a huge combo. It's just a shitty big kicker. You can use it to get this gap here, and that's it. And they want you to get 55,000 points out of it. 55,000 points out of this shitty little kicker. They mainly put the big scoring stuff on things that don't deserve it. And things that do deserve it get the small scores. Get a monster score on these giant tankers. Do it up, man. Do it up, man. This spot sucks because there is not much to work with outside of that bowl. And even that bowl is just kind of shitty. It's just a shit spot to work with. And I'm lucky I even managed to pull that off that I just did there. Most people don't have a good time with that spot. It's just not a good area. It's not a good part. Next. Hey, check out this deep pit. I threw that naked lady you got from Beverly Hills in there. I dare you to get a big combo on her. Naked ladies are no longer nice. Anyway, you want to go ahead and not spin her head to get a gap from up there. You'd also not spin the spikes down there to avoid getting killed, but then it's having to get the fuck back up there from there. That's a bit of an issue. So there. Now I have to do some grinds and war rides to get the hell out of here. Otherwise, I'm just kind of fucked. And there you go. Okay, next up, this fucking thing. It isn't much. It's the U.S. gas sign. It came free with that oil ring over there. Just try it. See if you can get a big score. A big score of 57,000 points from a kicker, a shitty kicker, that leads you into a wall every time. This... Did they even think when it came to implementing, you know, a lot of these parts into the fucking ranch? We put the pipe down in that hole. Grind it and get a huge score. I don't think they fought when it came to the fucking cameras, at least. My god, what was that cutscene? Anyway, grind the entire pipe down there for underground tunnel pipe, and then just get the points from there. It's not that bad, honestly. Seriously, what, what the fuck are these camera angles for this one? That was just dumb. You know what else is dumb? This fucking thing. Take this up and get lots of points on that quarter pipe. Uh-huh. The points are the smallest of all of them. 400 points. And there's a reason for that, because this escalator here sucks. If you try to get any speed off of it, the thing will keep you stuck on the thing with no movement. If you try to jump off of it, more than likely you'll be jumping upward and never forward, no matter how much speed you get. And then make matters worse, if you try to go forward and get some speed, it fucking launches you if you don't jump at all. And you will have no reaction time really to work with that. So, um, yeah, it's a shit part. And all it really is for is that ramp there. I just... I just don't fucking... I just don't fucking... I don't fucking... It's just a shit part. The game wanted to do that, you can't really. Those rails will launch you out over the ranch. Grind a boost rail and score big. Now this one deserved a big one. 30, you know, 350,000 points is pretty big. It deserved much bigger though, considering this is more like the finale in a way. So I was gonna go ahead and just get a million out of this one, just for my own sake. They should've, they should've put a million point in this one. A lot of these points for sick are really easy, honestly considering it's sick um but yeah there you go over 1 million points in one combo all right next up this shitty piece it lights up the dump skate off this bank and land a giant combo if you bank drop down the spot here you're that limo over there yeah it acts as a wall so this is kind of a shitty spot because its positioning has the limo in the way. <sighs> the 
but yeah, it is a spotlight, and with it, we can get spotlight air, and with it, we can also just get our points, because it is just a kicker, there's nothing to work with from that kicker, and yeah, we have to use our flatland to even get the points we need from it. After that, we get this shitty thing. Do a giant combo on the roulette wheel. The gap for this one's in the kicker over there to do a nice spin onto the thing. Uh, I don't need to though for this goal. I can just grind around it and get my points by doing this, going back and forth across from this roulette wheel over to the uh, spotlight bank there, and then just going backwards from there with the speed. And really, that's how you work this one out. The score here is pretty easy, honestly, so yeah, there you go. I can land it right now, but I just want to show off a little bit, because I want to. Okay, so next up, we have this escalator over here. I wonder how we're going to work this one out. Hopefully it's good. Try skating these escalator pieces. Wall riding up to the plateau is so awesome. Land a fat combo and tell me what you think. So yeah, we wall right up here and we get a gap out of it. Escalators pop. And, uh, yeah, the points you gotta get for this one are not worth the fucking entire thing there. It's not that great. It's a fairly sized rail, to be fair. And you do get, you know, a gap out of it. But, that's about it. Nothing much else to work with it. You will, again, make up your points through flat landing. And now we get into our final ranch piece, because... Even though there are some more pieces around here, the game does not care enough to put any more challenges for them. But we do get a challenge for this. This chunk of the oil rig is a nice slope leading to the plateau. Do a focus test combo here, please. There's a lot of ways to get up here, and this spot here is just kind of one of the lamer ones. We can use it to get a casino elevator out of the way at least, but uh, yeah. 42,000 points. Really easy, really basic, and once you complete this one, congratulations, you have completed all of the ranch pieces. Your reward? Barbara, carnival worker, Dogtown guy, and the Frenchman. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of all the gaps before we end the part. So, let's look at our gap checklist, there it is, and let's take care of this, shall we? First of all, jump over the car parts here for car parts hop. Afterwards, you want to go ahead and, uh, you know, do a bit of a trick around from the back of the couch for back of the couch, like so. Then afterwards, you want to go ahead and just mail across this entire little bit of street for downtown street. Then you want to go ahead and, you know, use this nice bit of speed from these ramps here to try and transfer over the spot for the courthouse big spine. Then make a nice little big drop across this spot here for Ferris, a frame drop. And then afterwards, you want to use this entire grind off of this, uh, you know, wasteland sign here for the wasteland grind. Use the kicker there to help out. Then you want to go ahead and just do a, you know, jump across that bail bonds limousine, make it work because it doesn't work all the time. Then use this grind here to get yourself some speed. They manage this entire bit of concrete all the way through because it's a bit of a hard one. Be careful of not bailing across on there for bag shop arch manual. After that, you want to go ahead and use this kicker here to go over to this ramp downwards for green dome air. Then you want to go ahead and just grind the spot, bag drop onto the grind for some reason, then you use that for museum grades. Rail drop, afterwards you want to go ahead and use this kicker here to go across over the sign for the skate park office kicker. Then you want to go ahead and grind this entire rail here, even though it's really weird and awkward and shit, to get the fire escape grind. Then, not has been the spot here when you get to work for the Pyramid Nadas. It's a bit awkward as work all the time. Afterwards, you want to go ahead and then do a nice little hip transfer on this spot here, moving over to hip transfer. Then, go ahead and grind this entire rail here, this entire pipe, in order for you to get the oil tank's pipe. Afterwards, go ahead and make this nice little jump down into the shark mouth for the sewer area, and then just jump across over there for the shark head telly. Afterwards, you wanna go ahead and grind this entire spot here that the king will never tell you about for the oil ring vader. It's a nice little spot. Then, jump across this entire area here for oil rig uh, chunk air. Then, do the thing I told you about beforehand for the roulette hop to Nadas, and then go ahead and use this hip transfer here to get enough speed to jump across the entire stairs to get the Dogtown stairs set, and lastly, manual the entire 
fucking snake run from the start to finish. Don't bail, don't fuck up. Do it better than the AI will ever do it here. And get to that entire little entrance here in order for you to get the green pipe point manual. And that is every gap in the game. In the fucking story mode, at least. There's still a classic mode to get through. And yeah, use the car to get a car hop, because I'm pretty sure I got that in another part on the Let's Play. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this part. We have now done 100% sick mode of story mode. Or have we? Because the game is going to say that we've got 100% now. We've completed it. We've done all the ranch pieces. We got all the gaps. We did all the shit we needed to do. Um, except we haven't bought everything. But we have so little money. We have 35 bucks. How are we going to buy everything? Well, here's that map, by the way, in case you wanted to see it. Well, even though I will eventually take care of easy and normal, and I will go through that. Next time, we're going to be going ahead and seeing to the money guy. The hobo guy that gives you infinite money, essentially, for doing shit. Because there is quite a bit to learn about him. And uh, we're going to be using him to essentially know how much we need to buy everything in story mode in sick difficulty. So, I will see you all next time for an entire part dedicated to the money guy. To that dollar sign, dude. So thanks for watching, and I will see you then for that.